Hi, I'm Margaret with Essential Living, and today I'm going to show you how to make aloe vera lotion. If you've ever had a sunburn, you know you want to put aloe vera on it immediately. It's so painful and it starts itching, your skin eventually starts peeling. That's why I came up with this amazing body butter that has aloe vera gel in it so you can heal your body in so many different ways and you can definitely start your skin on that healing process immediately. All right, so the first thing we're going to start with is our beeswax pellets. And we are going to do a tablespoon and a half of beeswax pellets. Now you can use white or yellow. It does not matter which, but obviously essential ladies are the best because they are pellets and they're easy to measure. And I'm gonna put it on medium low heat and let that melt. And the next thing we're going to add is our cocoa butter and we're going to do half a cup of cocoa butter. And then we are going to do one tablespoon of jojoba oil. And then next we will be adding our aloe vera and we are keeping it on the heat for this because once that cool or room temperature aloe vera hits the beeswax, the beeswax tends to get hard and solidify. So you want to keep it on that low heat so that it completely combines. You don't want any separation because oils, butters, liquids don't always mix. Now I use cocoa butter in this recipe because we are using aloe and it can make the mixture kind of runny. So the cocoa butter and the beeswax help to make it a little bit more solid. And if you use mango butter especially, it will be a little bit more liquidy. So you want to use cocoa butter in this recipe if you have it. Now if you have shea butter or mango butter, does not matter, you can obviously interchange them, but I do prefer cocoa butter in this recipe. All right, so now our mixture is completely combined and we're going to pour it into a separate container, preferably one with a lid, so that you can take it camping or on vacation or to the beach, wherever you might think you need it. Um, if you want to add any essential oils, now is the time. Uh, I'm not adding any to mine today, but you might want to see what's best for healing the skin or sunburns and add that to your recipe. All right, so here it is all done. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator so they can uh, solidify a little faster so we don't get any of that graininess and it'll be ready to use faster. And there is nothing better than a nice cold aloe vera lotion on a sunburn. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for future videos. 